Hey guys, Ryan Madges here from Winnie International, and in this video, I'm gonna be sharing the three most commonly missed reasons why coaches can't get bums on seats, why coaches can't fill their amazing seminars and events. And this is coming off the back end of us marketing to fill up our 100 person event over in LA where we're going to a brand new market we've never made to before. And uh, they're commonly missed things. And I know that the dream of most coaches is to be a thought leader, to be a speaker, to tear up the stages around the world and just be that person that's changing people's lives in the limelight, just making a massive difference. But the problem is that so many coaches neglect basic marketing principles when it comes to filling an event. And I'm gonna share the three biggest ones in this video. So let's kick off with point number one, which is the fact that most coaches don't have any lead up content in, in when they're marketing their event. Meaning that they just, when they're doing ads and when they're putting it out to lists, they simply just say, come to my event, that's it. When if you want to market effectively, you need to make sure you've got lead up content. Let's say you're doing an event that's on nutrition and achieving the body of your dreams and you're a fitness coach. You need to make sure that you also have a hook or a lead magnet or some kind of smaller value offering that you can get them to first so you can then pitch on a relevant topic for the seminar off the back end of that. Because asking people to go straight into an event is a big, big, big ask. It's very high risk because whether you think of it or not, even if it's a free event, they're having to put a lot of time into events so it's very high risk. So you need to make sure you've got lead up content, whether it's videos that are relevant, whether it's hooks that are relevant, uh, whether it's a video series in the lead up, whether it's a lead magnet, a downloadable report that's relevant to it. You need something that's gonna help get people through the door first then think about the event secondary. Okay, so that's point number one. Make sure you got lead up content. The second thing is to make sure that you've actually been realistic about your goals. You know, we see this all the time when coaches come straight out of it and they're like, okay, cool. I want a thousand uh, people at my event. I'm gonna put on so much value that people are just gonna attend. And the reality is to be able to fill an event in the, this day and age is actually quite difficult. And I'm not trying to put a limiting belief on us here, but just from experience, to get people who, if you're brand new, don't know who you are, to stop what they're doing and give up a day or even two days coming to an event is a massive ask. So much bigger of a risk than a webinar because they don't have to attend, it's at home. A video series or a blog or even free content on Facebook. People can access content so quickly that if you go too big with an event too quickly and you don't have enough value in the lead up and enough of a brand, People aren't gonna have the incentive to wanna to go. So we're gonna be realistic. Maybe instead of 100 people as our goal, we should go for 10. Or maybe instead of you know, 1,000 people for the goal, we should go for 40 or 30. You know, it'd still be a great goal if you could get those people from the seminar to have enough trust built to then bring them in and work with you personally. That'd be a pretty big win. So that's point number two. Point number three is the biggest one. And that is that you need to be willing to invest. You need to have a budget. You need to understand that this seminar is not just about getting people to the seminar. You shouldn't be trying to make money from a seminar. You should be trying to get people into something premium where you can actually change their life. Whether it's a course, whether it's one-on-one -on -one coaching, you need to realize that a seminar, the value is in the follow-up. And if you're putting all this kind of goal of, okay, cool, I'll put a free event out first, to get people to a free event costs money. You should be even looking at spending maybe even $100 per person to get them to the event with marketing. And the other thing with that is you need to be prepared, if, especially if it's a free event, to get, you know, even if it's a 100 person event, aim to get 300 register because people still won't show up. You need to be realistic about it. You need to make sure that you're spending enough to be able to fill that room, okay? So they're the three main things that you have to do. Have lead up content, set a goal that's reasonable. And then when you build up and you've got 20 or 30 or 40,000 Facebook likes, then raise the standards. When you get a massive email list, then raise the standards. And finally, make sure that you're actually willing to spend. Okay, the marketing budget should not, this should not be just marketing uh, alone, having a free event, because no one will rock up. You need to be willing to spend, you know, multiple thousands of dollars to fill that room, knowing you're gonna get a good back end return. So that's it for me in this video, guys. I want you to go below, and I want you to comment, and I wanna test you right now for those that are really looking to step up their game. And I want you to set a date for your next event but I wanna make it a 20 person event. So I want you to go boy, tell us when you're gonna be writing our next date. Lock it in now, and if you found this video valuable, then go below, quick share, because if you found this video valuable, then your friends will too. So that's it for me guys, have an amazing day. Much love, peace out.